What's up guys, my name is Zero Heroes and welcome back to more Gates of Hell. Now it actually has been a wee while since I've done one of these but this is a how to videos. Basically if you don't know what this series is, it's one of my probably one of my most popular series on the channel which is how to tutorials about how this game works, what the secrets you need to know and everything really about Gates of Hell that nobody else really tells you. So if you would like to stay in to more content like this make sure you subscribe hit that like button and we're trying to hit to 3k before the end of the year that'd be absolutely great but today i'm going to be showing you how to use the test mode or how do you even access the test mode now what i mean by this is that yes i know there is the editor that you can use to test about different things freely but let's say you're not as you know sophisticated on the editor like me who's kind of a dumbass and don't know much about editing on the gates of hell you know editor thing there is a much simpler way to test vehicles and infantry in this game just by clicking play and it all it just takes is like a couple steps and i'm going to be showing you right now so let's just get straight into it so the first thing you want to do is well you're in the main screen is go to multiplayer then you'll get two options of skirmish and online you will want to press skirmish now you have local skirmish and you have online skirmish you are going to have to press local skirmish because online skirmish you can i think do it with online skirmish as well but it because it is online you know you can't really i wouldn't really test it on online because people can join you so i would not do this on the online you know on the online game online i would click skirmish and then press local skirmish and this will give you the option to you know to play with ai instead of you know people randomly joining if you want that now you can ch you can pick whatever mode you want to be honest you're doing a test mode so it doesn't really matter i would if you're doing a test mode i would highly recommend picking a map that is more open like this 3v3 lake side airfield as it gives you a lot to you know mess around with, a lot of testing to do and actually it's the map that i use for a lot of testing so once you're kind of happy with all that press create and this will come up with kind of your settings before you want to start the first thing you the main thing you want to do is for test is that you'll see game settings which i will kind of zoom in for you game settings and you have three modes you have standard which will earn you xp custom which basically gives you more customization to you know you know if you're doing customized games you know manage the manpower or resource setting which again does not give you any xp because you know you are kind of customizing it but the main one you want is here test mode and it will come up saying test mode is a sandbox mod with unlimited resources it's made to be played only as testing grounds do you wish to continue press yes because like i said it is for testing grounds so you are testing what you want for units and all that and as you can see you now have test mode activated and you don't have anything else to do that and what i would do is make sure all your ai is turned off because you what you can do is that you can play with ai but as that wee warning box came it is is that it's meant to be for testing so try not do a pvp or a pve i should say as that kind of just maybe just allows the ai just to spawn unlimited amount of men soldiers tanks and it'll probably just crash your game so close them all off even your one as well make sure all those are closed off so you can test pick your faction once you're ready press start you will have the unlimited options of selecting every unit in that faction and also something i would like to say is that also play around with the different war stages from early to mid to late and also pick your doctrine as well mess around with it and that's what this test mode is for to allow you to kind of get used to units to give you at least an idea of you know how to play with certain units as well such as maybe 80 riflemen or snipers or radio operators or signalers so there's a lot to do in this game that maybe a lot of new beginners like you might not know so i would highly recommend doing this test mode as it gives you the best opportunity to play around with different units and all you know basically everything that you want to do and again this is why i love this and i wish they would have it in men of war 2 you know the other game but they don't they only have an editor 
which I really think is sucks. So this is basically, this test mode is a simple version of the editor and I think it's brilliant that Gatesfair added it in because it gives you a lot to play with and it just makes things a lot easier. So there you go guys, that is it for today. I say this might be one of my shortest videos I've ever done. It's only a five minute video, so I won't even get probably monetized for it anyway. So who knows, we'll see where it goes. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did find it useful and you would like to have more tips and tricks like this on the on Gatesfell, then make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, and also go check out my Airborne DLC news right here on the left as it'll give you everything on the news on upcoming DLC to the game. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and all your support and I will see you in the next video. See you later and goodbye.